Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another unboxing. It's my monthly box from Square Hue, and um, this one's the November box. I got it day before yesterday, and um, I'd like to go ahead and open it up and share it with you guys. So, we're going to open this rascal up, and just like normal, we've got our little card in here that has the names of the polishes and the, pl and the places for you to swatch them. And um, this is from the Adventure Collection from Square Hue. And this is Museum Hot Paris. And it's November 2016. And on the back, we've got some information, you know, about the location and um, everything else. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the polish. So let's get the little wormies out of our way. And we're going to start off down here on this one. And I'm just going to be straight up honest. I'm not real crazy about a gray, but <laughs> I've told you this before. These have these creams have excellent formulas, so it might surprise me. I've been surprised by several of their creams that I didn't think I was really going to be in love with. Just because I wasn't drawn to the color. But I really do think that that's a pretty one. And it might make a great backdrop for some nail art. And of course I can't pronounce the names. Louvre, maybe, but that's a nice gray cream. So we'll, we'll just put that one back in here and get the next one out. Now this one I'm a little more happy with. It's kind of a dusty peach color, and it's a cream too. There's no shimmer or anything in that one. I'm kind of liking that one. And I can't pronounce the name, so there you guys go. You can see it. We'll go ahead and leave these out because we're fixing to move this box anyway. Now, and I don't know what it is, but it seems like always the last one's my favorite. But look at that. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah, you can see it. Hallelujah. And there's the name for that one. But, oh, that is so pretty. I know I was on the hunt for a brown hollow for a long time, and I found some. But this one might be the one. Oh, gorgeous. While I've got this out and opened, I wanted to show you all the brushes. Get this box out of the way. It's kind of a small, skinny brush, but I haven't had any trouble using it with application and everything. Um, and the stem's not too long, so it doesn't, you know, just run down the stem and flood my cuticles and my nails. But there's the box this month, guys. Look at these. They all, they all look very nice together. And hollow is really pretty. <laughs> so, I'm going to do like I did last time, and I'm going to do some real quick little test swatches to see how they swatch. I've got me a little stamper out here and my chalkboard tape on my lint roller so we can see how it looks, so how they look over black and white. And I'm just using this plate that I had out on my desk, and it's the BPL 027. And I'm going to get rid of some of these lights so that I'm not blinding you guys. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't realize that was going on. And we're just going to pick a design and just do some swatches. And I'm starting with this gray one. Get it over here where you guys can see. Well, it picked up really nice. You can see that? There we go. Oh, it's not sticking to the chalkboard tape. My bad. I might have just not been fast enough. But it looks really good over the over the white. I'm going to give it one more shot. Maybe with another design and be a little faster. Because it might have just dried too quick for it to take to the tape. There we go. That looks really good. I'm liking that. That'll work. Alright, so that's the gray one. And there's the name for that one. And then we're going to head on to this light dusty peach. I'm really liking this color. I, I don't know what, what about it I'm liking, but I'm liking something.
not to waste too much time this time. But that picked up really good over both of them, white and, and black. And I'm liking that. Alright, and now for the hollow, which is one I really wanted to see. Or I guess I need to close this peach one so it don't dry out. Real quick, we're going to give this hollow a, a go. Hollow a go go. Wow, that didn't pick up over the black near as much as I thought it would, but it looks good over the white. Wow, that kind of surprises me. I might try that one on another design too to see. It is kind of sheer looking though on the stamping plate as I'm brushing it on here. So, but it did look really good over the white. Of course, you guys know I'm, this would be the first one I put on. Just being honest. <clears throat> and I don't know if maybe top coat will might change that at all. Sometimes it does. I mean, it is on there. You can definitely see it, and the hollows picking up. So, but there we go, guys. That is it. That is the new Square Hue box. And as always, I will have a link to Square Hue with a little bit more information down in the description box down below. And let's get these out of the way. And we're going to set those up so you guys can see them again. How pretty. But there we go. That is our Square Hue for November. 2016 and I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what you think about these polishes and if there's one in particular you would like to see now you guys know I'm going to be using that one very soon um, <laughs> but if you want to see anything with the other ones or want to hear about them let me know down in the comments and I will do my very best to get that get to that quickly and that is all I have for you today guys until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon Bye.